Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what is their true feelings for you right now. So my darlings, thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerz.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let me just change up camera views here. As you guys can see, I have multiple decks going on today, okay? So, and I've already done a lot of shuffling already before coming on camera, so, and of course, we'll move the cards around and shuffle a little bit more even when we get to those different parts. So what we're gonna talk about today is we're gonna talk about your love interest feelings for you right now, what's the blockage in the connection, and then what's the likely outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way with all these decks and you know a little bit more in-depth reading, let me know by hitting that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, is that my Cancer's romantic love life? How does my Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, I just wanted to make sure that my sound was working properly. If you guys can hear me okay, make sure you let me know in the comments below because I know one of the videos, the sound wasn't right, so just let me know. All right, All right so what's gonna have my Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they're talking about. Give me nine cards for my Cancer's love interest and how my Cancer's love interest feels about them romantically. Give me one card of what the blockage is in the connection and what is the Give me three cards for the likely outcome of this connection. Show the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's take a look here. We got the star card energy. We have the five of cups. We have the queen of wands. We have the wheel of fortune energy. We have the emperor card energy. We have the four of pentacles energy. We have the six of swords. We have the Page of Swords and we have the Page of Cups. And let's look at, look at the blockage here. All right, the full card energy. So there could be a person that's like, you know, should I take a risk here? Am I gonna be foolish about this? You know, am I ready for this fresh start, this new opportunity here? Am I being naive about the situation, okay? So at, I feel like there's a person who really wants to go for this, but then they're like, they're kind of like, all right, should I let go? Should I just do it? Yeah, am I gonna get hurt? Am I gonna fall off this cliff here? Is, is there gonna be a, a, a safety net here at the bottom? Okay, so let's see what the bottom of the deck is showing here. All right, so Ten of Swords is showing me that there is this sense that I'm gonna have some kind of ruination of plans, that I'm just gonna get so hurt here in this situation when it comes to family and long-term commitment or something to do with money, and I'm ready for something stable here, a stable situation here, and I have strong desires for this because I keep thinking about cancer. I want to be with cancer. I keep wanting a some sense of stability and stables, but there's something stuck here, something that's stagnant. I'm getting intertwined in this situation, and it's making me want to put my guard up here with the nine of wands energy. I'm just going to put this aside for now, and we're going to clarify exactly why the full card is here, and then I'm going to get more into depth about the feelings here. So let's take a look first of all. Why is the full card here? Why is the full card here? Why is the full card here for the blockage, please? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Okay, thank you. Yeah, angel of strength. Well, somebody's lacking the confidence, the courage, and the strength. You see how the lion's out in front, but the person's in the background? It's like there's a sense that, oh, I gotta put this barrier in place because I don't have the confidence here, okay? to make a decision, possibly because of something legal, contract, okay? Uh, some sense of justice here, okay? And we see, so uh, there's uh, concerns about, is the door gonna be open for me, okay? And then we see, or there is, is there gonna be a barrier in place? So this person, you or the other person, so because that's the, the blockage here, we're just talking about blockage and the connection. It's like there's a hesitation here because there's an oh, oh, there's concerns about being foolish or looking foolish and like confidence seems to be an issue here because of something legal or because uh, a decision needs to be made or a sense of justice and trying to consider, okay, is a door gonna be closed or is a door gonna be open to me? Yeah, yeah, so we see the door again to healing and being open to that. Okay, so Let's keep going here. So we see the Six of Swords energy, right? So the Six of Swords energy is like, all right, I wanna, this person feels like, your person feels like they wanna overcome the barriers here. They wanna be successful to overcome the barriers here with Six of Swords energy. This person seems like in the past they were having this very defeated kind of energy here, if you can see in this card right here. 
this person right here seems like they're very sad, they're, they're, they're very concerned. And this person's like, well, I need to make sure that it's the right time here so that I can just get what I want and so it can be smooth sailing here and I'll be, have luck on my side. So, because your person does feel like there is a spiritual connection and also that you can fulfill their dreams here because that's the star card energy of fulfillment of dreams. It's also this person feels very hopeful about the future here. So even though there were some things that happened in the past that concerned this person a whole lot, they see now there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I can look to the future. So this person for you is looking to the future cancer and they're seeing a brighter future with you. And they do, and before we go any further to that, I just want to get more information. Why is it, thank you spirit. I was about to say, why the six of swords here and you just flipped it open. Okay, so we see the goddess of moon, which is to talk about like a, a sense of mystery, a sense of confusion, or this person's really trying to tune into their intuition. This person really thought about things deeply here with the re, re, rest and rejuvenation. And this person brought things into balance within themselves. And what is this Wheel of Fortune energy about? What is this Wheel of Fortune energy about? Shimmer Crazy C, Shimmer Crazy too. Thank you, that feels good. Yeah, this person's really thinking. They're being strategic here, right? They want things to come full circle with the World Card energy because there was a broken heart here, okay? And we see, what's the star card energy about? What's the star card energy about? What's the star card? Thank you. Actually, you wanted to come out, so let's go with you. This person, oh, there's a sacred path here. To me, this is also a very spiritual-oriented card. This person sees that there is something more to this connection, okay? Something a lot, uh, a lot more special, I want to say, to this connection. A lot more sacred. Okay, this person's ready to take a new uh, lease, a new uh, step out into a new kind of way of thinking when it comes to this connection. They are, they're definitely seeing this as a very good um, step in the right direction. This person feels like there's a victory here because of the sense of balance and the connection. Interesting that you guys have the yin and yang as well. Okay, so keep going here. Okay, so we see that the five of cups is here. Your person feels a lot of regret. Okay, they know there was a lot lost in the situation and they are looking to the past and they're like, wow, this is what happened. I'm trying to stay hopeful about the future though because I know there's love here and I'm holding on to that. And I want to take control of this. I want to make this power move. I feel like there seems, it needs to be a sense of order, a sense of structure, a sense of routine here. Because of why? Because of things that happened in the past with the Five of Cups energy. And now with the Page of Swords, this person's like, I've gained new perspective. I see this from a whole new way now, okay? With the Page of Swords energy. Why is the Five of Cups here? Now I understand why the Fool card is here. I'm hesitant to take a risk. I don't want to be foolish. What happened before, okay? Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Thank you. Yeah, they're, they're, they're wanting to look to the future and seeing things come and blossom and have a sense of abundance here. Even though in the past there was some deceit, there were some things that weren't truthful about the situation when it came to someone's heart. And we see that now they've done a lot of thinking here about the situation and they're ready to make some kind of decision. Side card energy or justice card energy. Why is the emperor card here? So I feel like when the timing is right, this person's gonna make a power move. That's the emperor card energy. Okay, why is, thank you spirit, obviously you wanna come out, all right. This person found their direction. Why else is the emperor card here? Because they were all tied up or they were concerned about a trapped energy. So they found their direction and they don't wanna have this trapped energy because they want something of value or something to do with a person here. They've been thinking about this and they're ready to bring things full circle. They want the power to, it's a thinking card again, they've been thinking about it, and they wanna remove this barrier here that's in the, in the way so they can have a caring connection. Because even if you look at the next card here, four of pentacles is saying, this person wants to hold on to you. You can read across. I want this, this time to be right here. Because in before, it was really, it was, a, it was not the right time, but now I want it to be the right time. I feel it's the right time. And I'm gonna make a power move here because I wanna hold on to cancer. And then if you look at why do they wanna hold on to cancer, you look above, why? Because they are attracted to you. 
they have a lot of chemistry and a lot of passion for you, okay? And we also even see what's above the four of pentacles here. What's the, four, the below the four of pentacles is like, and there's so much love. There's potential for so much love here and this new beginning, this new offer of love, this good news and love, all right? So this person has a central theme is like, I need to take control of this. I need to have a sense of order. I've gained a lot of wisdom here. I'm very hopeful that we can overcome these barriers because there's new potential for love and attraction here. I know that we had regrets in the past, but I'm ready for the time to be right because I've gained new perspective on how to hold on to you for Pentacles energy. So let's go further on this and let's get more information about their feelings here. Can I have another perspective about how Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how Cancer's love interest feels about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So we have the willing to release, uncharted territories or sea, great big love. Yeah, roots. Into me, I see a merry motive, opening and discovering, smoke and mirrors, and healing the heart. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this person's like, all right, you know, whatever happened in the past, I want to release this. I know we're going down uncharted territories, but I really do love you. And uh, this, this radio is making me feel a little emotional. I'm sorry, Cancer. Um, they, they feel like they, they put a lot of effort into this so far and that this, this connection runs deep. And uh, now they see, then they have good intentions now. They want to have good intentions and they want things to open up and they want to discover new things with you instead of you know lying and hiding behind smoke and mirrors because they're ready to heal the heart with you. Okay, so let's move this out of the way, all right? And I'm just gonna get a little bit more information here, Cancer. Okay, so let's get more information here. Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about. Give me another perspective of how Cancer's love interest feels about this possibly. Show me the cards I need to see, show me the cards. I need to see. Okay, let's see. Wow, they're really seeing this cancer in more of a sacred way, a divine way, and, and they're seeing your a beauty, your attraction. Yeah, look at that. This person's looking ahead to the future and sees that there could be so much abundance between you guys. And they want to be there for you. They want to take you out and court you. This person feels that there's been some distortions that happened and now they've gained a lot of immaturity. I was about to say immaturity. They were immature in the past. Now they've gained a lot of maturity about this and they want to resolve the conflict. And they're going to stand up and take a leadership role here and not distort things in the intimacy. Wow. They're going to be careful not to distort things in the intimacy. That's very interesting. Very specific message there, isn't that? All right, one more time here. Cancer's love interest, the one we're here for. Ooh, oh my goodness. So many cards to spell. <laughs> Romantic feelings. Okay, let's get this card too. Okay, we have the book card energy. They're really obsessed, Cancer. They miss you. They want to go out. And they're focused on the long term here. They've changed and they're ready for the timing to be right for you guys to be happy. Okay, so let's see the likely outcome considering all that. Likely outcome is Six of Pentacles, the Lover's card, and the Knight of Swords. Let's see why those cards are here. Why is the Knight of, Knight, uh, why is Six of Pentacles here? Why is Six of Pentacles here? Six of Pentacles, please. Thank you. Okay. Why is the lover's card here? Why is the lover's card here? Okay. Oh, wow, okay. Why is the knight of swords here? Why is the knight of swords here? Oh, wow, okay. Wow, that's good. That's really good, okay. There is a want to give equal time to the relationship. The reason why is the decision was based on somebody who wanted a sense of order, a sense of structure, okay? Or because somebody made the decision because they were tired of being isolated and separated, okay? And we see 
there's a victory here because there's desires for a victory in the relationship because this, this lover's card represents a commitment of relationship. And it's saying that the action will be taken here, a swift action will be taken here because confidence in improvements and changes, store card energy. Oh my goodness, let me get some, some more information for you guys. Can I have some advice for my cancers, please? And what they need to know. They, oh my goodness, thank you, Spirit, Jesus. Okay, well, we'll go with these. All right, so Spirit's saying that they've been sending you messages to just keep paying attention to that, to guide you. And then also they're seeing there's a, there's a lot of productiveness going on with this situation. Productiveness, yes, that's what it says, productiveness. It says, go ahead, just do it, okay? And it's saying that you're gonna get ready for this huge transformational change, that there's gonna be a breakthrough here in this connection and you're gonna be able to just do it and they've been sending you signs. So they're saying, keep paying attention to those signs, okay? That they're giving you dreams and visions and a lot of you are very intuitive and you're aware of exactly what's gonna happen here, okay? You know that's about to happen. There's, there's about to be this big transformational change here in this connection, so get ready for it. All right, my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. There's multiple readings for you guys to go check out right now. Obviously, we have the weeklies that are up, the monthlies that are up, the next two weeks. Also, um, there are true intentions towards you. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in another date or two.